one of you, one of the other major names you played with was uh, Lee Morgan. Oh yeah, that and, was my uh, man. That was that, my that main was, man. Uh, that yeah. was, you know, uh, I'm a great fan of your work with Lee. Right. Um, could you could you speak to people about Lee? You know, well, he was a trumpet people. genius, man. He understood everything about music. Facet. He could have been a great classical trumpet if he wanted to, because anything you put in front, he could sight read it. Okay. Not a perfect. Yeah. And plus, you know, he was great at writing great compositions with great titles. Plus, he'd do a lot of dates, and, and, and at the end of the day, they might need one tune, and he'd come up with a hit like Sidewind. That was on the spare of the moment. Yeah, yeah. You know, last tune, they need, you know, <laughs> and when we did the gigolo, we need another tune, and he came up with the arrangement on You Go to My Head. That was that's a, a lot of musicians that's still play that. Yeah, oh, he yeah. was he was a musical genius, man, and yeah. he treated me so good. He let me record my music. You know that gave me a chance to be in my yeah. publishing up. He recorded Ben Hopper's music, Ben Maupin's music, Jimmy Mayer's music. He was a very unselfish kind of person, man. That's wonderful. He, he was yeah. really wonderful. Yeah, yeah. and um, I remember um, I, this might be a little difficult to talk to talk about. You said you were on the gig the night that that uh, Lee Morgan passed. Could you, could you speak a little bit about um, your, your experience after that, you know? Because I know, could you tell people from your perspective what happened that night uh, on the gig? Because um, I know that must have been very... It was very painful, without going into any details because I try not yeah, to talk about sure. it, but after that happened, because nobody knew anything like that was gonna happen. But after that happened, man, I, I was, uh, my stomach, my whole system was messed up for a whole month yeah, to be. see something like that because we had played a good set and there was a lot of snow on the ground. And that was, was one of the reasons why he didn't get a chance to survive because it took so long for the ambulance to get there. Normally, yeah. they could have been there in two or three minutes, but because of the magnitude of the snow, it took so long, you know. But man, it took me a, it took me a long time to deal with that because to yeah, see that happen sure. to somebody yeah. that you're so close to, you know. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we went to his service in Philadelphia. And I never forget, rest his soul, Kenny yeah. Durham, man, bless his heart. He was sick then. He checked himself out of the hospital to go to the thing to attend Lee's funeral. That's the kind yeah. of camaraderie that the guys had then. It's not like that with a lot of younger cats now. Those yeah. guys loved and respected each other. You know? Yeah, that's great. I mean, uh, Lee is personally my favorite trumpet player. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, obviously he's coming out of Clifford Brown. Right. But you know, uh, Lee to me it just has this uh, wonderful blues feel and right. behind the B feel. But very charismatic, just like Miles Davis. That's why Miles dug it because okay. he was a trendsetter. And you know? what what do you think was your favorite session with him? Because I know he made a few. Well, I would say my favorite is 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 the Jiggle Man because that's the only time I recorded with Wayne Shorter. That's the only okay. time. And yeah. since Wayne was on it, because Wayne, as you know, is such a wonderful human being, and Lee yeah. loved Wayne, so I would say that's one of my favorites because of the fact that Wayne was on the date. Then naturally, those dates at Live at the Lighthouse, yeah. and uh, the Procrastinator, and a couple of other ones, you know, and the last one we did, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I would say the Jiggle, because it was some, we had some good moments on that date, you know.